Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy tutorial on how to use the Zerion wallet. Now, one of the main reasons why you might want to use Zerion is that it's an easy way to keep track of all of your crypto assets across all of the different Ethereum chains. So not just Ethereum mainnet, but also all of the layer twos, because sometimes it's hard to remember which layer twos you keep assets on and where things are, but this automatically aggregates all of the different assets you have in one wallet across any different chains, and it allows you to keep track of that all in one place, as well as having a number of built-in features allowing you to swap or bridge or trade NFT. So it's a great way to do everything in one place. Now, there's a few ways that you can connect to Zerion. For starters, you can actually create your own Zerion wallet starting from scratch, or you can connect a previously existing crypto wallet that you have, which is what I'm gonna do today. So if you click on the MetaMask connection, it's going to connect automatically to your MetaMask wallet. And this is automatically gonna pull all of the data from the blockchain and show you everything that you've done with this wallet and show you all of the assets that you have. So if we just scroll down here, you can see that in this wallet that I have, CryptoCove.eth, I have some assets on different chains. So for example, I have Ethereum on the Arbitrum layer two. I have USDC on Arbitrum, but I also have Matic tokens on the Polygon network. I have ETH on the Ethereum network. I have wrapped Bitcoin on the ZK Sync network. I have some on Optimism, ZK Sync, and Base. So there's lots of different chains that I've used this wallet for, and I have assets now spread out across different chains. And this is great because it automatically pulls that data from the blockchain and shows it all in one place, and then totals it up so I can see the total value of the assets that I have in this wallet, which is about $100. What else can you see? Well, you can track the performance of your wallet over time so you can see you know how things have been going and this tracks also deposits and withdrawals so when I've made bridge transactions or withdrawals and the amount available goes down but you can see how things are doing in terms of the overall performance of the wallet then you can see the history all of the transactions that you've completed so the last thing I did was I minted an ENS domain costin.e but I can see all of the other transactions in the history here I can also click on the NFTs tab and I can see all of the NFTs that I hold with this wallet so you can see a couple of ENS domains and a couple of random NFTs that I've just been messing around with for tutorials on this channel. So like I said, it's a great way to keep track of everything that you have all in one place, but that's not all that you can do. For starters, there is the explore tab where you can see what is happening in the world of cryptocurrency. So for example, in NFTs, you can see the trending NFTs or the most traded NFTs. You can see the state of the staked ETH ecosystem and the different options for buying staked Ether tokens or liquid staking derivative tokens. And you can also track and trade different ERC20 tokens directly in the Zerion wallet, including index tokens. So if I click on this, I can see different tokens that represent indexes. So for example, the Bankless Bed Index holds Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a DeFi index token as well. So let's say, for example, I was interested in tracking the BED index over time. Well, I can add this to my favorites tab, and then over here, I can see all of my favorites. And so this is a great feature if you're interested in trading different tokens to keep an eye on your favorite ones. Now, in terms of other functionality, you can send ETH, or ERC20 tokens, but you can also send NFTs directly in the wallet, which is a nice thing. So let's say that I wanted to send something from CryptoCove.eth. Well, I could choose which one of my NFTs I wanted to send, and then I could choose what wallet I want to send it to. I can also make swaps directly in the Zerion wallet, and not just on the Ethereum mainnet, but on several layer twos as well, basically the largest ones, including Arbitrum Base, Optimism, Polygon, and ZK Sync Era. And finally, I can bridge assets from ETH mainnet to different layer twos, or between layer twos as well. And this all happens directly within the Zerion wallet. So like I said, this is a great tool for people that are interested in keeping track of everything that's happening with your crypto wallets on multiple different layer twos all in one place. And it lets you do most of what you would want to do in DeFi directly in the Zerion wallet, aside from maybe some of the more complex stuff like borrowing and lending against your crypto assets. But yeah, this is a great tool and I definitely highly recommend checking it out. Have a great day.